Welcome to a very rainy Trondheim in central Norway. We're just a couple of kilometres away from what's widely described as Scandinavia's most sacred place, the city's cathedral. Thousands of people come here every year by boat, by plane, by car. But what makes pilgrims travel the traditional way, on foot? Hi, my name is Luca Bocci. Uh, we decided to walk uh, these 300 uh, kilometres here in Norway because the idea is to join the path. We want to, uh, that Santiago path in, down in Spain can be joined with here in Trondheim, San Olaf. We have our uh, uh, young guy, which is nine years old, and the oldest one is 82 years old. So we stay in pavilion, in sport, uh, sport pavilion, and we uh, have our kitchen with us, we have our food with us. We are not rich the cathedral yet, we are on our way and there are just one kilometer here so we want to go there as soon as we can. It's like a feeling we want to reach our, our goal, you know. It's 10.30 now in the evening and we reach the cathedral of Nidaros. We are really happy, people was hanging each other uh, the hearts start beating in a strange way, but uh, we made it. After 300 kilometers, we made it. We are here, and uh, now people can get in, have a, a mess, a Lutheran mess, even if we are Catholic. Uh, and then tomorrow morning we will have our mess at eight o'clock, and that's it. I mean, it's it's been very really, really hard. And tomorrow afternoon it's free. We can walk around here and some uh, enjoy ourselves. There is some something going on in the city, so it's very nice. You deserve it. Yes, we really deserve it. After 300 kilometers, I mean, we really deserve it. And thank you very much. Well, as the most devoted pilgrims begin their worship, the people behind this festival, the St. Olav's Festival, have laid on a whole host of cultural activities that will appeal to even the most secular person, everything from musicals to concerts to art exhibitions. This place has still got a long way to go to catch up with the most popular tourist destinations in Europe, like Rome and Lourdes, but the people of Trondheim are clearly passionate about putting their city on the map.